What's going on everybody? A lot of people have been asking me for tutorials on how I've been doing 24-7 live streams. Because of this, I've decided to make a multiple part series on how to do so. This will be the second official tutorial on how to create a live stream. A link to the first video where we talked about settings can be found in the description. As a recap, if this is the first video you have come across in our series, please download OBS or Open Broadcast software to follow this tutorial correctly. In this video, we will be talking about scenes and sources. Scenes are set layouts of your live stream. For example, one layout could be a PewDiePie vs. T-Series, and the other could be a top 10 most subscribed. Sources are the content that are within your live stream. By default, you should already have scene created. If not, you can click on the plus sign to add a scene. Once you have a scene, you want to start adding content to your live stream. So under sources, click plus, and you can see this is all the stuff that you want to add to your live stream that you can add to your live stream. Uh, to start or to add a base to your live stream, you want to add a background. So click on image. Uh, under create new image default, we're going to click. We're going to type in BG for background. Click OK. Uh, you want to browse your computer for background so I'm going to click on this preset one which is a simple version of my top 10. Uh, you can click and drag corners to resize your your images so I'm going to drag in drag and drop it to the top left corner do the same for the bottom to resize it to the full size of the uh, the scene. Once you have your background on you want to start adding content to your live stream so for this example, we're obviously doing a top 10, kind of like I have. Uh, so under sources, click on plus. Uh, the first thing you want is a live counter. So go under browser, create new, click OK. You can see OBS pull up the OBS website. So we're going to want to put a, a link to one of the live count websites. What I've been using is livecounts.net. So I already have a link um, copied into my clipboard. So we're actually going to change it to PewDiePie here. Click OK. And as you can see, it's PewDiePie's uh, live count in real time. So you could easily just throw it in the corner, resize it, but his count gets super small to resize it within the windows here you can make it large again and then where you see the circles in the corners you can actually come to the corner here hold down alt on your keyboard and then click and drag it and that will resize the image or crop it So once that's done, you can also see that there's a blue background to your live count and a white background um, on your main background image. So to get rid of that, you're going to want to click on your live count, right click, go down to filters, in the bottom left corner, click on the plus. Uh, you're going to want to go to color key, click OK, under color key type, Go to custom color, select color, and go all the way to the whitest you can. So hashtag FFFFF. Click OK. And under similarity, 1 to 1000, you're going to bring it all the way to 1000. And close it, and you can see you've gotten rid of the, the blue background. So once you finish that, obviously you'd want to continue and fill. 2 to 10. Uh, an easy way to do it is again go down to plus browser uh, fill in your URL for your next person which I'll do t-series click on OK. Um, what you can do is again resize um, but to avoid to avoid doing the filter and everything what you can do is you can click on your first link right click uh, 
uh, go to copy filters and then just click on your next live count right click again and then hit paste filters and that will get rid of the uh, the blue background and and uh, match it with your your background background or your background color once you finish that maybe you want to add some music so go to sources again click on the plus sign uh, go to media source click on OK uh, you want to go to loop you can do this before or after you click browse but uh, click on loop so the the music continues to loop over and over and over so it never stops click on browse I just have a no copyright sounds mix here you want to open it up click OK make sure you have loop enabled click OK uh, and you can see here um, this is actually very important you want to make sure your desktop audio is muted as well as your your mic is muted because if your mic's not muted people will be hearing you talk in the background let's say uh, you're talking to a family member in your room while your stream is going they will hear you if your mic is on so you want to make sure that's muted and you can see here you won't be able to hear anything but once you start streaming your media source is working because you can see that it's unmuted and there is music playing another important thing that can be added to your live stream is text to add some text to your live stream click on the plus button go to text create new ok select your color and change it to I would say an opposite contrast to what your background is so in this case we'll do black uh, you can type whatever you want Let's do welcome to my live stream and let's just do a bunch of nines for this example. Click on OK. So as you can see, it's extremely long. Let's say I do like a 500 word sentence or 500 words in that box and nothing fits. Um, if you've seen my live stream, you can see that it's scrolling. To get that stro scrolling effect, you kind of want to do what you did with the with the live count. You want to do a filter. So, uh, click on the the source, right click on it, go to filters, click on the plus sign, go down to scroll, click OK, and under horizontal speed to have it go to horizontally across the screen. You want to click and drag it, and as you can see, it's starting to move. So I'll do 186, which is obviously too quick, but you can adjust it how you'd like. And as you can see, now I'm scrolling across the screen. And that just about wraps up the first, or I guess second official live stream tutorial for OBS, or how to live stream 24 seven on YouTube. Um, if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, leave a like and I'd appreciate it if you subscribed and hit that notification bell for future videos. Thank you. Have a great day.